Alright, what's going on guys? Boy Uj back again once again and uh, wanted to make this video. As you can see, this box right next to me is a box that if you've been paying attention to my Twitter, um, of course link in the description below, you will have seen that Viz Media has taken a liking to your boy and uh, for some time now they've taken a liking to me. But now I, I guess you could say we have definitely uh, had the uh, the handshake, you know, the two sweets have been given and uh, yeah, we're now friends I guess you could say uh, because Viz sent me a bunch of things that I wanted to unbox and I mean it's already unboxed however, there's the, f the face things that were up at the top I have obviously saw because I wanted to see exactly what was inside this box and um, the other stuff that's in here I literally have no idea what exactly I will be looking at so I'm pretty much kind of doing like um, one of those well a similar video that I used to do actually which was like the weekly anime pickups for those longtime fans of mine if you guys remember that it's a version of this however um, this is literally just a Viz haul of stuff, okay? So a lot of some of some of these things actually aren't even out yet. Some are, um, and we're gonna be pretty much going over that right now. So I'm gonna pull up a schedule, the of uh, the release schedule, um, so that way I can ver I can confirm what is out now and what isn't, and so on and so forth. All right, so let's uh, let's just start. Uh, getting right into it. From what I can reach, okay, so I can tell you some things right off the bat. Dragon Ball Super issue number 10 at the time of this recording, this comes out next week. So this is not even out yet. I got this today, okay? So um, uh, obviously I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm really happy that Viz and I are, you know, on this work working relationship right now, which is really dope. Um, and they do plan on sending me more stuff as time goes on. Um, which is really nice. I got that confirmation today as well. So I'm really happy about that um, But yeah, this is volume 7 Dragon Ball Super if you haven't been keeping up with the uh, Manga reactions that I've been doing every month for Dragon Ball Super definitely check those out um, But these are the physical volumes. I don't know if you can really see that up in there in this corner over the, over here um, But I've been naturally collecting all of these on my own, but I guess I don't have to worry about that anymore um, so there's that one. This is volume 9. This is uh, the last volume, of course. Uh, we got the latest uh, Boruto volumes, which are 8 and 9, respectively. And let me see. So we have volume 9. I just want to see for myself if it is actually out or not yet. I'm checking really quick. Okay, this one looks like it's been, it's been out. All right, so that's good. So volume nine, I have it now, right? And I got volume eight. So this is the, the two volumes for you guys to check them out, okay? Nice covers. Again, Bor the Boruto reactions have been doing very well here on the channel. So if you haven't checked those out, uh, please go ahead and do so. They're pretty, pretty, I would say they're good. They're good reactions. A lot of you guys have been enjoying them. Now this, this Naruto story, this is a, this is a novel, okay? This is a novel. Um, really quick, I don't know exactly uh, what entails, what 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 the story is with this one. So really quick, to celebrate Family Day, Konohaga cures a new holiday. Uh, Naruto and his daughter Himiwari are on the hunt for an elusive must-have item. Hinata wants to make the day memorable for her family, and even Sasuke makes special time with his daughter Sarada and his wife Sakura. All right. At the end of the day, will Family Day be a success? So. This doesn't really seem like your typical eventful type of episode that they would have in an episode. And I could have sworn they've already done this in the anime. Could be mixing up with another one. But I guess a little nice novel story uh, for you guys. I've actually, funny enough, on my stream, which also link in the description below, I have been talking about getting into some of the, um, I guess, I don't know if you call these light novels or just straight up novels of, you know, some of the Naruto stories. I actually have some in front of me right here these are the actually the ones that we were we were talking about viz did not send me these i have actually owned these for a few years now but i am planning on collecting the rest of them there's a bunch um there's a sasuke one there's a sakura one as well i'm pretty sure there, there might be a shikamaru one too but i'm not really sure but yep yeah, so this is uh this is called naruto story family day okay so there's that all right let me get some of this tissue paper out make sure there's nothing inside this okay yeah because you never know sometimes it might it might slip something 
small that's in there. Oh, oh, what do we have here? This is a Boruto Blu-ray fire. Okay, so they obviously know that Boruto is doing well on my channel, so that's a good thing. Um, this includes episodes 53 to 66. Now, if I'm getting this right, I feel like these epi the, the episodes that are on this Blu-ray set feature episodes that basically have the events from the movie, which I have... I do, I do have anime reactions for, so if you haven't checked those out, highly recommend those. I'm pretty sure I cried during one of those episodes. If you want to see me tear up, um, then definitely go ahead and check those out. These do include English and Japanese stereo, 2.0 audio, 16x9 video, English subtitles. They have special features including storyboards, art gallery, a clean opening, and a clean ending. And I think what clean opening, clean ending means um, is there's no text. I think, I think that's what a clean opening ending is. Um, and uh, so the tuning exams are on. Boruto has just started training under Sasuke as the exams get underway. The Leaf Genin face a number of formidable foes for the other villages, from the other villages, uh, but the exams are interrupted by a blast from the past. Bad blood from Kaguya clans bring Naruto and Sasuke back to the battlefield. So here's how the uh, back cover looks, okay? And the front, pretty nice, all right? Wasn't expecting this. Uh, like, like I said, this is uh, really freaking awesome of Viz to have sent me all this stuff. I'm actually gonna check just to make, sh just to see um, if this is like a future release, possibly, or if this is something that's out now. Looks like this has already been out. Um, yeah, it does look like this has been out. So, really awesome of them to send me that. Um, and I, I actually, I'm actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really happy that I, I, I this is like the first Boruto um, Blu-ray that I even have and I own uh, right now. So we got a couple more movies. Ooh, we got Inuyasha. Yo, right in time. If, for those that don't know, there's a new um, Inuyasha series about to start up um, about Inuyasha Seshomaru's daughters. All right, I don't know too much about it at, um, aside from that, but this is the episodes 1 to 27 so this is like part one right so let me see here we go so okay so the set one came out i want to say last month okay so these are these are brand new these are essentially brand new um these came out in july um and set two is slated to come out sometime this month so if it hasn't come out already um then then yeah because we still at the time of this recording we still have a couple of days left of august before we get to september um but this is that set number one so this is pretty dope includes an exclusive interview with script writer katsuyuki sumisawa all right like i said it does include ep uh, episodes 1 to 27 um and uh yeah if you don't really if you don't know anything about inuyasha this is a classic i actually kind of grew up with this one a little bit um but i haven't seen it since i was a kid so this is actually pretty dope. Uh, one day, ordinary ninth grader Kagome Higurashi gets pulled into the past, straight into the feudal era. There she meets Inuyasha, a half-demon who was sealed by a powerful priestess named Kikyo 50 years prior. Not only is Kagome the reincarnation of Kikyo, she also has special powers in connection with the Shikon Jewel, a mysterious object said to greatly increase a demon's powers. Awoken from his 50-year slumber, Inuyasha joins Kagome on a grand adventure in search for shards of the Shikon Jewel. So, this feature includes four, four Blu-ray discs, 27 episodes, like I said, stereo, 1080p, 4x3, stereo audio, English and Japanese, English subtitles, clean opening and ending, and an interview, like I mentioned, um, with the script writer Katsuyuki Sumisawa. Um, and yeah, this is obviously based off of the original graphic novel by Rumiko Takahashi. And uh, Inuyasha is a classic. So this is, get this for yourself uh, right on time um, for the brand new series that I'm pretty sure is debuting next month if, I get, if I'm getting that right. So yeah, Inuyasha, boom. What do we got? Oh yeah. My man freaking Bleach. I shouldn't say my man, but... You know, I'm, I miss Bleach, all right? I miss Bleach. This is set number seven. This is Blu-ray, of course, right? Uh, so, I mean, this 
Do I have to explain what Bleach is, guys? I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what Bleach is. Uh, relating to Bleach, I'm pretty sure the Burn the Witch manga just started. Um, so because I'm hyped for Bleach next year, I'm going to definitely be doing reaction for uh, the Burn the Witch series. It's, I think it's only three chapters long, so... There you go, your little quick uh, news flash for you guys. This comes with four discs, 28 episodes, 168 to 195. I'm not sure if these are filler episodes or not. Um, but uh, yeah, English and Japanese stereo, 2.0 audio, 16 by 9 video, English subtitles. Approxi approximately 644 minutes. That's a lot of a lot of time to uh, spend on here. We have some special features, art gallery, clean opening and endings, interview with Ben Diskin, Viz commentary, episode 191. So this is pretty cool. Um, bonus features to have there's uh, our girl yoroichi on on the uh, cover there and that's the uh what the back looks like so i love the, the cover art i haven't actually damn it's been such a long time i haven't the last time i got a bleach dvd was like the first two box sets and back in the day they only had like 13 episodes on a freaking set can you believe that i'll have to go i'll have to go um show you guys that oh man here we go right back to naruto so listen i've i've been having a very crazy last week i should say right and i've i've had this itch okay i've had this itch where i miss naruto so much right and i've been wanting to re-watch and re-experience naruto because this is a series that I essentially grew up with. I haven't done too much content for Naruto outside of like Naruto reaction. Actually, I did technically do one episode of Naruto reaction that led into the Boruto reactions, which then now I'm doing Boruto manga reactions. Um, but yeah, I mean, this this is uh, the twenty. This is a twentieth anniversary collector set right here. This is the Naruto uh, movie collection. It includes the Shippuden Blood Prison movie. I actually never saw that one. Uh, Road to Ninja Naruto the movie. Not sure if I saw that one. This is the, this one right here. Um, the last. That is. On, I think this is like the best Naruto film. Next to the Boruto Naruto the movie. Okay. These two are the last two Naruto films that I've ever seen. Um, with these guys up here, I actually have never seen. So, and of course, this is all Blu ray. Um, I'm looking very, very forward. Uh, to seeing this one so let me i will read this for you guys really quick uh four unforgettable naruto adventures come together in the first time for the first time in this four movie collection naruto is sent to prison and battles to reclaim his honor in naruto shippuden the movie blood prison naruto and sakura get lost in a strange alternate reality in road to ninja and in the last Naruto has to save the world as the moon is falling. A classic movie. Literally saw it right after the manga ended in theaters for a very limited time. I literally teared up towards the end. It was a beautiful film and a very nice uh, after story to continue the universe of, you know, Naruto and whatnot after the, the great fourth ninja war. And finally, then as Hokage, Naruto must deal with his unruly son and face some old familiar foes in Boruto naruto the movie this four movie collection is packed with special features including production art original trailers and an animated short oh okay so let me see what it says so main feature of course four discs so that's a that's a common theme here a lot with a lot of these sets look four discs right 1080p high definition 16 by 9 video dts hd master audio 5.1 and 2.0 english and japanese audio english subtitles and the special features are the animated short shunin exams on fire naruto versus konohamaru Hmm, okay. I don't know if I've seen or heard of this one or might have seen it by accident without realizing. I'm not really sure. Um, let's see. And then a special interview with Junko Takeuchi, the Japanese voice of Naruto Uzumaki. Fire. Okay. Message from the original author Masashi Kishimoto. Storyboards, art galleries, clean opening, clean ending. Fire. Okay, so if I could get permission to you know put these op clean opening endings out there from biz possibly i don't know maybe i'll i'm asking um without getting in trouble of course but and if it is i will definitely do if you guys want to if you guys would like to see the, some of these op these clean opening endings let me know um definitely include your comments um down below so let would be like hey let uchi do it all right so this is the four movie collection guys i this is out yes this is out now um I have it in front of me right here on the August 2020 calendar, so definitely check this out. We're almost done. We're almost done, okay? 
We got what is this? Oh, this is this is another 20th anniversary. Oh, this is a lot of Naruto anniversary stuff. Okay, so this includes excuse me, I had to burp. Okay, sorry. This includes episodes 67 to 79. So if we're actually this is probably set number six. Okay, so let me check a take a look. I believe this. This is probably out as well. Out, yes, it is out. As, it is out as well. Okay, so this came out at the same time as the Inuyasha set one. So here we have set five. Here is set number six. I'd imagine. I don't see the number six on here. It just says Mitsuki's will. So maybe they just named it because this is actually. I remember. I actually do remember these episodes uh, very vividly. I'll let you guys look at the cover art really quick and the back. All right. Um, this was a part in the, in the anime, which of course is not included in the manga for obvious reasons. I'm not going to go into detail on that. Um, but is Mitsuki friend or foe? In the excitement surrounding the new Five Kage Summit, a squad of ninja is found unconscious and Mitsuki goes missing. With his origins shrouded in mystery, Mitsuki's true motives have been unclear from the beginning. Boruto and Sarada have some tough questions to ask about their friend in the sixth installment of Boruto and Naruto Next Generation. So they call it the sixth installment, or I don't know, the sixth, I don't know if you want to call it an arc or a season or whatever, but this does include 13 episodes, two discs this time around, all right? English and Japanese stereo, 2.0 audio, 16 by 9 video, English subtitles, special features include storyboards, art gallery, clean opening, clean ending. That's a pretty common theme here with these special features. Um, definitely a really good thing to continue supporting these physical releases, guys, because, um, you know, obviously it supports the anime industry and stuff that you don't get you know even if with your subscriptions you don't really get the special features like storyboards and whatnot so that's why having these on hand is always is always a great thing um and i'm actually very glad that viz stacked me up on literally all of this this content right now and we're still not done okay what do we have here ping pong what yo this is the manga holy oh my god i almost cursed even though i do on my streams but that's okay comment uh the description below jeez this is vo volume one and two okay are these out yet we got i gotta look so we're in august i'm looking i'm looking okay the naruto Von uh, uh, i can't even think Jeez. Oh wow, Beast Children came out this one too. Did all three of them come out this month? Dude, Beast Children was so good. I'm so I'm so I'm so not happy that it ended. It, it had so much potential, but that's it's neither here nor there. Probably for another video if you want to ask in the comments below. Please, please, please ask why, Luchi. Beast Children was such a freaking good rugby anime or manga. I'm looking to see like, dude. Oh wow, okay, so the okay, so ping pong volume two literally comes out next month. And we got it right now. Hey, this is volume two. This is let me put this in front of me really quick. This is volume one right here. So um I personally don't know a whole lot about ping pong v series i guess i've heard about it i've this is a series that i've always wanted to watch and i had no idea that they were had that they had a manga well i mean a lot of the anime does come from original source material somewhere right um and this is this here is the manga of course and dude this is like a super duper like oh my god like this is like a hard cover like this is not something that it look it actually looked like i thought i, I got played i got mixed schmixed okay i literally thought that this was like a hard cover with like one of those like plastic covers or paper covers or whatever that you just like fold out but nope you hear that that is that is some some good stuff these nice big pages jeez it's freaking can i get like a can i read you guys like what this is about taiyo matsumoto Damn, Viz on the come up right now. So this includes 27 chapters and an episode zero. Not sure what the episode zero is all about, but this is the, the contents of volume one. And oh, look at that. We do have some color pages. Not, not sure how many 
um, are going to be included all throughout the uh, entirety of this run. But I'm sure there's a good amount. I'm actually looking, I'm still looking for some kind of, uh, well, I'm not trying to spoil myself either by skipping straight all the way to the end. Uh, oh, this, is this it right here? Uh, is best known? Okay, this is about the author. Hmm. Yeah, surprisingly... Yeah, because normally you find, like, some kind of, uh... Description in the back, right? But... I guess it speaks for itself, right? It's ping pong. <laughs> There's not much, not much else to explain. I wonder when Volume 1 came out. Did Volume 1 come out in July, possibly? Seems pretty recent to me. Okay, here we go. So I got a description for you guys. So I'm gonna, you know, just like how I've been reading, like, some of these little summaries. So yeah, we guys have an idea of what this is all about. Ace High School table tennis players push their passion to the limit in this story of self-discovery told by Eisner winner award Eisner award winner excuse me Tayo Matsumoto Makoto smiles Sukimoto doesn't smile even though he's got a natural talent for playing ping pong as one of the best players in school all hopes are on him to win the regional high school tournament but winning is not what smile really wants to do will the fe fierce competition to be number 1 bring out his best or drive him away from the game. Ping Pong is Tayo Matsumoto's masterwork reflection on friendship and self-discovery, presented here in two volumes, featuring color art, the bonus story, Tamura, and an afterword by the original Japanese series editor. So that's pretty freaking awesome. That sounds like a dope story. I'm gonna have to read this very soon and get back to you guys on my impressions on Ping Pong. It's really cool because now I feel like now that I have this in person or, you know, on hand, um, I'll actually be able to get my first experience before I even watch the anime. So, so this is volume one. And then here is the covers. I'm sorry. Let me not drop that. Here's the covers of volume two. Okay. I like how, I like the direction of how they decided to basically use I guess actual panels from the story for the back and front covers and the binding. It's like all encompassed in itself. So it's pretty, pretty freaking dope. Um, damn, Viz, you guys exceeded my expectations and that is it. All right, so we got plenty, plenty of stuff. We got the two ping pong volumes. Volume two ain't even out yet, uh, which is awesome. We got uh, this Boruto sixth set. We got the fifth set. We got the Naruto four movie collection. Also in celebration of the 20th anniversary of Naruto. We got Bleach set number seven. We got Inuyasha set number one. Set two, I believe comes out this month. So look out for that as well. Uh, we got Naruto's family day novel. We got Boruto volumes 9 and 8 right here, respectively. We and, and then finally, last but not least, we got Dragon Ball Super number 9 and Dragon Ball Super number 10. Again, this one is not even out yet at the time of this recording. So, um, you guys can expect more of these unboxings and reveals um, in the future when Viz does send me more because they already confirmed that um, they would be sending more. So I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of longer than I even expected it to be, but uh, but yeah, this was a first, I guess, for everything. Um, this is a really crazy first haul for, uh, uh, you know, like, I don't know, like this is the first time they sent me stuff and I didn't expect this much um, in general. So I'm really, I'm really happy and really grateful um, and thankful I got I got a lot to <laughs> a lot to freaking uh, dive into right here um, so um, if there's anything you guys want me to like you know tackle first you know before I even get to any of this please let me know in the comments um, um, and you know definitely hit up Viz Media's website so that way you can check out the release schedule because there's plenty more stuff that um, you know that's up and coming that's already released and whatnot so 
um but yeah keep an eye out for more releases definitely uh don't forget to hit, hit up all of my manga reactions and the previous anime reactions that i've already done um i i do boruto and dragon ball super as it is right now i do plan on doing burn the witch and i think i'm gonna start doing my hero academia just saying that's a weekly series it's very popular it's one of the ones that i keep up with uh week to week much like how i keep up with boruto and dragon ball super so definitely look out for those um but again guys if you want to see more action see more of me definitely hit up my description below so that way you can see all of the supporting links in there like my twitter like my twitch like my instagram join my uchi gang discord if you guys want to be a part of the uchi gang which you're already a part of you're subbed right here to the channel but if you want to take part in some of the anime view parties that i have in there and you know private streams and whatnot that we do in there for the community then definitely you know join the discord which is also in the, the link in the description below uh take care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i will see y'all next time